Okay, so for this video, it'll be um, a little bit more short and sweet. We'll be looking at making um, fish nets as well as changing up our NDVI values to get rid of our soil, as well as exporting any data contained within our fish net into a table. So we'll get right into it here. We'll go ahead and make our fish net. Um, I've already clipped everything to my field boundary. Um, that's something I've discussed in other videos, so I'm not going to go through that. And to create a fish net, we're going to go ahead and type in fish net. And we'll go to create fish net data management tool. And here's just where you're going to uh, save it. So looks like we're in databases in our file, so we can just name it whatever we want to. Just name it fish net. And then our template extent, we're going to go ahead and want to extend it out to our field boundary. And it'll go ahead and set all these parameters. Um, and then for our number of rows, for this plot, there are actually 16 rows because it's two row plots. So you should be able to come up with this data in the future if you're working on, you know, like a hybrid plot for a farmer, things of that sort. So and there's also five columns here. So once we do that, we can go ahead and change this to polygon so we can calculate some statistics in the future. And we can go ahead and run that. Should pop up a nice um, fishnet here. We can click on the color. It's pretty much a field boundary, if you will. You can change all that around and get rid of all these little points in the middle. And you zoom in, it's lining up pretty nice. If you did want to modify the, the fishnet and get to fit a little bit better, you can see it's a little bit wonky over here. Um, I'm going to ignore it for this lab, or not lab, but just this video so we can get moving. Um, but if you wanted to go ahead and change it, what you do is unhighlight. I'm going to unhighlight the field boundary so I don't get it when I do this. But we go to edit and we go to modify and you just click on one of these tools and you just select what you want to modify and then you can rotate it, um, scale it, all that jazz. But for this case, I'm going to go ahead and leave it alone so we can continue on here. Okay, so I went ahead and created a NDVI map. However, I have not gotten rid of the soil values. So you can see all the red right here. We un undo it. You can see it's mainly all soil, what it's um, displaying. So we'll go ahead and get rid of that. What you want to use is your raster calculator. And you want to use image analysis. And then if you come over to the operations over here and go down, you'll run across one that says set null. And what this means is, well, I'll go ahead and import it here. So we're wanting to look at our NDVI from July 12 clip. You can rename this whatever you want to. I just left it as that for now. So our July 12 clip. And we're going to put in a less than 0 0.0.5. And I'll explain why we're doing this after we get it put in here. So pretty much what this equation is saying is set null or set no value to any NDVI value that is less than 0.5. And if this statement is false, go ahead and apply the regular old NDVI. So anything above 0.5. And we can change the, the name here to NDVI correct or something of that nature. Now if we go ahead and run that, fingers crossed, uh, we should come up with, we have a map showing in the background here, so we can go ahead and clip, unclip that. And now we can see all of our soil is actually showing from our original map. And to make this a little bit easier, I'll go ahead and change the symbology here so we can see what's happening. So you can already see that it pretty much got rid of all the soil values and all we're left with is plants now. <clears throat> so, and for this lab, you're also going to want to, this is just for the NDVI. I know in this lab we're also calculating the SAVI. So if we come in 
I'll just show you where it's at. We go to imagery, it's just like you're making an NDVI map, only yours will be right next to it. So this is uh, the next version of Arc GS Pro Arc 2.3, but this is what will be showing up right next to it. So you click on this, and you put in um, your near infrared band, your red band, and your soil adjustment factor, which in this case we're just going to leave as 0.5. You can go ahead and run that. And then you do the same steps in order to get rid of all your soil values. And now we'll go ahead and calculate some t statistics on this. So if we come over here and get out of our Astra calculator and we type in zonal statistics as table. So we'll go ahead and calculate all the statistics within these polygons and we'll export it as a table and we can put it in Excel and play around with it and stuff like that in the future. So you're going to want to take our, our fishnet and just leave it as that. It's just the name of it. <clears throat> and we want to calculate our NDVI clip that is correct. So our soil adjusted one. And in the output table, you can name this whatever you want to. I'm just going to leave it right like that. Um, you can name it whatever you want to, really. And statistics type, we'll just leave it as all for now, so we get all the all the data within it. And go ahead and run that. Um, hopefully, we don't have any issues there. Just say there's some warnings. If we can go ahead and click on. Oh, table. There we go. That's what I was meaning to do. And within there, it should go ahead and have all of our plot numbers. So if you don't know what the plot numbers are, you can click on them. And it'll tell you, like that's plot 1, there's 2, 3, and if you come in the middle, there's 43. So it looks like it's, there's 5, and then 10. So it looks like it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and so on. Up the up the charts. So if you wanted to go ahead and copy all this data and put put it into Excel to work with it for statistics, you do you hold Control and push A. There we go. Had to get it on my cursor in there. And I'll go ahead and highlight highlight everything. You can go ahead and push Copy, and then you come over to Excel. And then push Control V, and that'll go ahead and paste it in here. So we have all our data within Excel to use. Um, if you want to, if there's some students having trouble with not being able to, they didn't have this copy feature right here. So if you go ahead and hit Control A again, or it's Control Shift A, I, no, I think it's so you highlight everything. It's Control Shift C. Now go ahead and copy it onto your clipboard. Yeah, Control Shift C. We'll go ahead and do that. Um, if you just hit Control C, it'll just copy whatever box you're in. Um, so that's not worth a whole lot. You don't want to go through and copy every single value out of here. That's very time consuming. I'll go ahead and unhighlight it. And you'll do the same process for your savvy values and throw them into Excel. So other than that, that should cover everything new within this lab. So please let me know if you have any questions or anything I didn't cover the greatest. And with that, you guys have a great week. And I guess a great weekend. I guess we'll see you on Thursday. So we'll catch you guys later.